Hi friends, this is the second answer tutorial about how to add material properties to your job file. For that, this is the answer main menu. From that, go to preprocessor. After adding the element type, then go to the material property option. Here we have available various kinds of options. We have a material library, in material library, library path, library path starter, import library, export library, or select units. We have temperature units, electromagnetic units, material models, convert APL likes, change math number, or failure criteria, failure criteria. Write to file, read from file. By using these various options of material properties, we can add material properties in our model. By using material library, we can show the library path. Uh, if we have a material property library collection, we can import into the hands by using this and also we can export the library to the other programs like uh, workbench and so on etc. We can also use the same device by using this application as a CBS and uh, we can also add temperature units we can select the material models and favorite we can have various options if we are doing the structure we go to structure we can, we can do the linear non-linear thermal expansion dam being specialized in linear elastic as a drop of water, we can install any isotropic Non linear elastic in plastic, in plastic material, we can also do the cheap material. This is the new feature in the axis 30. To add, we select the linear plastic isotropic. First in the last thing the 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 You can also convert this APLX and the number and temperature we can also give a failure to the at the different temperatures. We first we give a failure to the temperatures. If the program exceeds the failure to the You can also write this video about the file and also we, we can also read the file this is all about the material property by adding this simply go to material properties select material properties so if you know the material property values and select the uh, each one of the material property enter the material property according to the power values uh, this is all about the answers that in tutorial how to add material properties in your work. Thank you for watching.